This will be a demonstration of locating the edge of a part with an edge finder to an accuracy of one or two ten thousandths of an inch. You can see the edge finder and a drill chuck on the right side of the screen and just behind the edge finder is a metal part to be located and it is mounted in a vise. You can see the Hawes CNC control on the left side of the screen. The CNC is in handle jog mode right now. You get to that mode by pressing this mode button. These are the mode buttons. This is the handle jog mode button. Right now it is set to move on the Y axis and it moves by using this handle. You go positive or negative Y and each click of this handle moves the, the tool or the table ten thousandths of an inch per click and one rotation is 100 clicks. I'm going to turn on the spindle right now by pressing clockwise and right now the spindle is rotating at 1000 RPM. Next thing I'll do is move the tool toward the part and it needs to go in a Y positive direction and you can see that the tip of the edge finder is wobbling a little bit but as we get closer to the part the wobble will stop and then when the edge finder actually touches the part it'll shoot off to the left. So now I'll start moving this. You can see that I'm moving the handle and the wobble has gotten less. I guess the next click will shoot the edge finder to the side and there it is and it takes two clicks back out and it's running normal again. One click in and two clicks in and one two back out and now one in it's right ready to shoot off again so now I'm going to change this from a ten thousandth of an inch per click to one thousandth of an inch per click and it should be within just a few thousandths that it moves off to the left and I'll count them. It says one, two, three, four, and there it is, four thousandths it took to, to shoot the edge finder off. Now I'm going to back it out and I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it took ten clicks moving the tool away from the edge of the part before the edge finder is running true again. And so I'll move it in one less than that. So I'll go in nine clicks in a positive direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more click in a positive direction, it'd be a one thousandth of an inch toward the part, would shoot that edge finder to the left, but instead of doing that, I'm going to change this to a ten thousandth of an inch with this button. Now there's a decimal point, three zeros and a one, which is ten thousandths of an inch per click of this jog handle. And we should be within one thousandth of an inch of touching. That's within ten clicks. It could go over, but probably not, and I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, it took eleven. And now I'll shut off the spindle. I can do that by hitting reset which shuts off anything this machine is doing or I could have hit spindle stop but my hand was closer up here and that's bright red so I could see it so I just push that. Next thing I need to do is, uh, um, is bring the tool up and the reason for that is the tip of an inch finder measures 0.200 which is 0.2 inches and it's accurate to within less than a ten thousandth of an inch so Right now the center of the tip of the edge finder is 100 thousandths away from the edge of the part. So I need to change that from Y axis to Z axis. I do that by pushing this button. Now that's a Z and I don't want that in ten thousandths. A ten thousandth of an inch per click I want it in one thousandth so that changes that. And Z positive brings the tool up in the air. And now the, the bottom end of the edge finder is above the top of the part. I'll leave that at zero for convenience reasons which you'll see in a moment. One caution I want to give you is that when we're bringing the tool up 
you never leave it spinning. You always turn off the spindle before moving the edge finder up the edge of the part. And the reason for that is uh, if, the, if the spindle is spinning and the bottom of the edge finder touches the top edge of the part, sometimes they can grab each other and will make a, a dent in the part and can destroy the edge finder. There's some numbers on here. If I push the handle jog button again, it'll stay in jog mode, but it'll zero all of these. And so now that the tip of the tool has cleared the top of the part, I'll move, change that to a Y, and I'll move this 100 thousandths positive Y, and that's 100 clicks, one full rotation of this, and check in this here, it tells us we've just moved it 100 thousandths positive Y, and now the center of the tool is exactly over the edge of the part. And of course, the center of the tool while it's rotating is the center of the spindle. But right now, we're exactly over the edge of the part, uh, probably within one or two ten thousandths of an inch.